So I'm going to look at a, a mechanism for drawing a right triple leaf curve. Um, there's the mechanism there with the, the curve. Um, the, the total left-hand side of that mechanism is just there in order to keep a couple of angles the same. And, and I'm going to leave that bit of the mechanism out and just actually constrain them to have the same value. It's a bit of a shortcut, but uh, um, something I can do uh, readily with GX web and um, it makes things a little bit simpler. So here's um, here's the mechanism we're going to do. Um, we're going to have a line coming off in this direction, and we'll have a crank um, sitting here. And um, I'm going to make this crank length A and make it distance A from the origin. And then we're going to have another line coming out um, from A. And this one's going to have a slider on it um, structured so that we have a right, a right angle from D to B. So both AD and AB have got indeterminate lengths, so they have sliders sitting, letting them change their lengths. But this angle has been, has been constrained. And now I'm going to drive it with, a, um, with an angle here, um, which will be theta. But I'm also going to make this angle theta, and that's what the uh, Piece of the mechanism on the left hand side is is there to do they keep these two angles the same and so with that um uh, with those constraints there we uh look at the locus of d as theta varies uh, there is a curve um, Let's take a look at this equation. So it's taking a little bit of time to um, get this one sorted out. So we can take a look at it move a little bit if you like uh, by changing theta see the mechanism doing its thing I'm assuming it's going to finish in a minute or two but uh, Yeah, we can tell. There we go. Um, and we see it's a fourth order equation, relatively straightforward once it got it, once it got it simplified and figured out. Um, 